Now, following the collapse of the Key Bridge tonight, we're hearing from a professor of structural engineering who says he's concerned about the Bay Bridge, which goes over Maryland's shipping channels. And WJZ live at 5:30 tonight. Alex Glaze in your corner, speaking with that professor about his concerns. Now, Alex. Well, Rick and Stefan, data shows that the Bay Bridge is one of more than 17,000 bridges in the United States that's considered fractured, uh, or I should say structurally fractured, and that means that if any portion of the bridge's structure fails, the entire bridge could come down. And with that in mind, one expert who has studied structure failures for decades says that he's concerned about the structure surrounding the Bay Bridge. Tonight, concerns about the Bay Bridge from an expert in structural failures. It doesn't have what we call structural redundancy, meaning that one piece goes and a huge chunk of the entire bridge can go with it. The Bay Bridge is one of nearly 17,500 bridges across the United States listed as fracture critical, meaning if one part of the bridge support system fails, the entire bridge comes down. Well, that makes me a little nervous when I hear that. If somebody's looked into it and there's, it's having the same structural issues that the key bridge had, uh, well, that, yeah, that makes me a little nervous. The protection that is there right now uh, appears to be just a fender system, and it doesn't have that robust protection uh, that can withstand the impact from a massive ship like the Dali. Dr. Agayeri says it's imperative to protect bridge pylons and piers. He says massive concrete barriers called dolphins can be designed to adequately protect bridges from devastation. In Delaware, the state spending $95 million to install dolphins to protect the Delaware Memorial Bridge. Those dolphins will uh, take that, you know, dissipate the kinetic energy that comes from the ship hitting them, and they will deflect, and by deflecting, uh, stop the ship and then dissipate that kinetic energy and prevent the ship from impacting directly uh, the pylons of the bridge. In a statement to WJZ, Maryland Department of Transportation Secretary Paul Wiedefeld says, with the Key Bridge incident in mind, there's been a renewed focus on peer protection at the Maryland Transportation Authority's signature bridges, including the Bay Bridge. The most recent Bay Bridge inspection showing the condition was rated fair in 2021, similar to the rating of the Francis Scott Key Bridge. And Secretary Wiedefeld says his office is working with the U.S. Coast Guard on the feasibility of increased protections to those piers at the Bay Bridge. I'm Alex Glaze reporting for WJZ.